Hey Scrappy Crafty friends, it's Laura. I'm back with a little haul for you today. I uh, We had a bit of a, a thing happened a couple of weeks ago. My sister lost everything in a fire. And so uh, my haul today is just a little small one. She's okay, uh, but her, she did lose her beloved pet, uh, her, her Gracie. And she's very sad about that. And, and she's lost all her belongings. There was nothing saved. So, uh, but she's doing all right. And friends and family are rallying around her. So, uh, well, that's just the news. But let's get on to more fun stuff. I'm back out in my sun porch. And it's actually a reasonably sunny day today. So, uh, without further ado, here's a few things that I picked up. I know nothing about etchings. <laughs> absolutely nothing but I saw this frame and I just really liked it it's obviously really old and someone very kindly wrote on the back that is the bookseller on the embankment in Paris it's a colored etching and signed but the signature I can't make out for love nor money uh, but it's quite beautiful so I'm gonna have to do more research on that I did take it to that appraiser that was at that show that I went to, but uh, he wasn't really any help. He didn't know much about art or etchings. So this one also I picked up, I paid five for that one and I paid six for this one. Um, I picked this up at the same time. Something about it just appealed to me. My sister said to me, that's ugly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want with that? <laughs> but anyways, again, this one says Val Ans Val Alstein Mill, Bay of Quinty, and the artist is Nicholas Hornansky. Um, it is also a colored uh, uh, aquatint etching, so I believe that's sort of watercolored. Um, so I was able to look up this Nicholas Hornansky. The signature on the bottom is just minuscule, but <clears throat> and he's a very well-known artist. He's actually, some of his work is hung in the National Gallery of Canada. So, um, and I was able to find some of his work online. And it looks like his etchings go anywhere from about $100 to $300. So, the only thing is, is I need to find the right place to sell these. So, a little more research going into those before I actually put them up for sale. So cute little planter. I, I'm hoping to put some plants out here in the uh, sun porch this summer. So I grabbed this little planter. It's quite sweet. I think it should have um, it should have a, a thing to go underneath it because it does have a hole in the bottom. So I'm gonna have to find some kind of nice little plate or tray that'll sit underneath it so it won't ooze water everywhere. Uh, this. I picked up from my booth because it's 3D. It's a Western scene, couple of cowboys on horses and uh, many views Western collection, David Cook. I haven't looked it up, but I think somebody will just like it. You know, someone who has horses will like that and will want to put it in their kitchen or their mudroom or whatever. Um, I have always liked the clocks that, uh, okay. Tim Holtz does so but I'm I'm too cheap to pay the Tim Holtz money for clocks so I picked these up there's three of them they're quite sweet old clocks none of them work so uh, I'm thinking somewhere along the line when I possibly have time <laughs> it's that whole time factor I'm gonna gut them and turn them into a little assemblage so this I just grabbed at one of the secondhand stores last week just for flowers, these sort of things sell well at my booth. Well, I'm making a lot of noise. And actually I might keep it for some spring flowers and utilize it in the house here. And uh, I, have, I know nothing about it. I don't think it's any special maker or anything like that, but just it's in good shape. There's no, no chips or cracks. So I thought <clears throat> that would be cute. And this one does have just a tiny bit of damage, but it's uh, it's going to go on my plate wall at my booth. It's, I like the color. It says made in Germany and it has a 
a, a number on the back, so that would probably be the mold number, and there's a Z, and I don't know what that means. But it's a beautiful color. Uh, I like it with the, the peaches, the little peach branch hanging down, and I love basket weave. So uh, that's gonna go on my plate wall. Um, what else did I get here? This little dish is, is, isn't that gorgeous? That is absolutely beautiful. And it is, it says Nippon and hand painted. I'm not sure what that mark is, the M mark. Uh, but a friend of mine gave me a book of pottery marks, so I'm going to be able to look things up and find out a little bit more about it. So it's really a lovely, lovely little dish. I have no clue what it would be for. Maybe just your dresser, just for your rings and earrings or whatever. Very sweet. And this, I think, is probably um, from a butter plate. It's, I think, a, a butter dish. I think there should be a top to it. But I've always been drawn to these uh, old English inns, this, this uh, oh, I guess it was probably a collection that was put out by uh, J. Stevenson and Son in England and uh, patent applied for, uh, doesn't have a year. Um, so I don't know, it's just sweet. I love the yellowy color of them. So this one is the mermaid, the mermaid in rye. This is the inn. So there's been different ones of them. And I had, oh, I had a beautiful little biscuit tin in this, but it got broken. So that's probably just for me because unless I find the, the top for it, it's really not, you know, not any value to be able to sell it. So I'll just keep that. And then, oh gosh, I remember buying these at auction sales when I was young, when I first started going to auction sales, uh, these blown glass little creatures. And often they would have a little collar and chain and there'd be two fawns. Uh, I don't know if this one is missing her fawns or if it was just a single like that. So <clears throat> this has probably been around since the 70s. And it, it, I love that it's absolutely in immaculate condition. And I found it in the bottom of a box. <laughs> so it was, it was meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> that little thing so we'll put her carefully over there uh, just grab these the other day I love the spice of life I have some of the see in store canisters and I don't know if this is a creamer I looked up online it should have a lid but this does not look like it's missing anything so I'm not quite sure what that one was for and actually parts of this are made in Canada. This part is made in Canada, but this part is made in Taiwan. So kind of interesting. It doesn't say Corel or Pyrex or anything like that on it. And, and these are made in Canada. So quite sweet. And I'll probably just keep that unless I build up more of a set and then possibly sell it. Uh, what else have I got here? I'm just going to take a drink. Mm. Purse of the week is not a purse. It's a lunch pail and it's Tupperware and I won it. I won this lovely lunch pail and it came with a water bottle, a couple of small containers and a soup container. So that's from Stephanie Dolbeck. She's my Tupperware consultant and I was thrilled to bits to get that and I've already used it as a purse a couple of times but it's actually going to be great too because when I'm out and about with the grandkids in the summertime I can pack snacks and and goodies and drinks for them in here and uh, isn't that it's really pretty really really pretty so that's my purse of the week this week it's got a little side pocket there too and how's my time my time's good I'm doing okay um this is absolutely gorgeous can you see this linen it's really a high quality linen piece this is the end of it and what it actually is it is not a tablecloth because that is only on the one end of it um, it is a summer uh, bed cover and i remember and this this has to have quite some age so 
So I remember um, when I was in high school looking after an elderly lady uh, during the day and I remember on the uh, little twin beds that she had in one of the bedrooms, she had this type of summer bed cover. It's absolutely gorgeous. So it's got a little bit of discoloration, a little bit of staining. I'm gonna ever so carefully clean it up. I have no idea of value. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. So I'll have to look it up and find out what I'm gonna price that at. And then I just grabbed a few linens. Some will probably be used in junk journals. Some will, if they clean up nicely, will go into the booth. That's my grandson, he's playing outside. <laughs> there's, there's bubbles involved. <laughs> this would be cute in a junk journal, I think, with the, with the beautiful butterfly on it. And this stitchery one is quite sweet, but it's in good shape, so I think it might get cleaned up and put in my booth. I love this one. I think I might keep this for myself. Oh yes, it's got a little stain on it, so hey, it's mine. <laughs> oh, it's got another stain there, but I really like that. That is so sweet. I need to get some uh, starch for them. And then this is just a little tea towel. Again, a beautiful linen. Um, I'm not sure if that's handmade or not, but they, these two came with it. And that is definitely hand stitched on that little tea towel. They look like they were never used. These were often made and given as wedding gifts, say. Eh? So sometimes people will put them away, keep them for good, and then they'd never get used. They'd be in the china cabinet, cabinet or whatever, and they'd never be used for anything. So that's quite sweet. And then this, I'm gonna have to hold up for you. I don't know if you can see it. This is the top of it. It is the most beautiful um, apron I've ever, ever come across. It's so delicate. You see the lovely pocket with the stitchery work on it. And then this beautiful ruffle here. And I actually have worn this um, when we opened the new Salvation Army store that I worked at, I had this nice sort of denim dress and I wore this over it and I got lots of compliments. So um, I have had it in my booth and it hasn't sold. And I'm, I had it for, I think $25. So the right person who appre to appreciate it hasn't come along. So I may keep it and wear it again this summer over my denim dress, just for the fun of it. So that is, oh, poor Jackson, he's getting frustrated with those bubbles. They're not going the way he wants them to go. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks everybody, and uh, we'll see you in the next haul. Take care, bye-bye.